Did you know there's a parasite in dogs called the giant kidney worm that can eat and digest your dog's kidney sometimes without them or you even knowing about it? I'm Dan, I'm a veterinarian. The way a dog gets this giant kidney worm is when they're outside playing by a lake. Let's say they eat a raw fish like a pike or a bullhead or some sort of raw fish and even a frog sometimes. These are the intermediate host that's needed for the giant kidney worm. Once in the intestine guys, it actually burrows its way through the intestinal tract, leaving the intestines and falling into the third space or the peritoneal space. This is the space between all the organs. What it's going to do now is it's going to slither around all the way up to the liver. It's going to go north to the liver. Once it gets there, it's going to hang out for a minute, kind of vacation there, and then it's going to travel back down south to the kidney. It usually picks the right kidney because it's a little bit higher up, guys. That makes it a little bit easier to get to, and it starts to ingest or digest the parenchyma, the kidney tissue. The kidney has a capsule, guys, so that worm will go in there and start eating everything up and it will literally no joke eat everything the entire kidney if it just sits there it will eat the entire kidney and if you were to go in there and do surgery on that doggy to remove it you would find just a capsule with a giant red kidney worm in it as I said earlier guys you may not see these symptoms of course you probably will but you may not if the giant kidney worm just gobbles up the right kidney the left kidney is still working and you must have at least 66 70 75 percent of the kidney function to be depleted before you start seeing symptoms of kidney disease this means at least about one and a half kidneys must be damaged in this case the doggy has donated one kidney to this worm to be eaten up and the left kidney is still sitting there doing its job that's why you could have no symptoms if the giant kidney worm is in there just mowing down on the right kidney you may have symptoms though this would include everything guys from like blood in the urine protein in the urine because as the kidneys being destroyed if the urine is not blocked up you're gonna see all of that debris come out that the, that the giant kidney worm is digesting and eating and causing trauma to also guys on the x-ray the veterinary may see a big kidney the ultrasound may show a big kidney and no normal parenchyma or kidney tissue so they probably will see the worm on the ultrasound the large kidney worm also may not make it all the way to the kidney as i said it goes from the intestines to the liver liver kidney it may not make it all the way there guys and if it doesn't it could end up just in the peritoneal cavity and that could cause abdominal pain inflammation and just from the worm being in that in that spot between all the organs how does a veterinarian diagnose the giant kidney worm this can be done by a urine sample if there is a male and a female in the kidney and they're producing eggs or cysts you will see them in the urine it can be diagnosed that easily usually it's not that easy though either the ureter is plugged up or you don't have a male and a female so you're not seeing these eggs or cysts come out so in that case guys you can ultrasound and look for the worm you can take an x-ray look for a big kidney a veterinarian can do an exploratory and they will literally see the worm in there if it's in the liver peritoneal space or if the kidney has been devastated by the worm you will see a kidney that has the sac of the kidney and the worm will be under there moving around crazy i know just to wrap up the giant kidney worm is incredibly rare it is out there and if your doggy is getting into raw fish and frogs and eating stuff like that there is a small 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 chance your dog could ingest some cysts that could cause the giant kidney worm of course, always consult your veterinarian if you think your dog has an ailment, a sickness, an illness that needs to be fixed or treated. As always, guys, I hope you and your pets are happy and healthy. Thank you so much for watching, and you guys take care. This is my cat cup. Actually, it's my wife's, but I'm using it this morning. <laughs>